Uh, speaking of Melbourne, this is shaping as a big story, the possibility that Harley Bennell will play on the weekend. Uh, Simon Goodwin forecast today that he wants to pick him and he's tempted. Oh, look, it's very tempting. You know, it's exciting. He's, um, we always thought he'd be ready about mid-year and it just happens to be round two. So, um, you know, he's done everything right. He's done a lot of training in, obviously, in, in isolation. But more importantly, he's done everything we've asked of him in the last three weeks. He's definitely put the, putting the pressure on and, oh, I want to. Yeah, he's, um, he's a good player. Uh, here's Harley Bennell training. Uh, and one thing Simon Woodman, Goodwin did say today is, uh, on top of isolation, he's done everything right the last three weeks. And to me, three weeks is the big thing. I would not play Harley Bennell. As tempting as it is, he's the type of player they need. They lack the player that he is. But you want him to be a three-year player for you. And I just think at AFL intensity against Carlton this weekend, he's not done any of that. They're going to have to pull the trigger at some stage. I know, Hutchie. And he's not going to have the preparation in VFL level that he would otherwise get. He can still play some games and all that, but I'd give him... Why not give him five and six weeks? Not three weeks at training back with the guys. To me, that isn't enough. I I agree with you, Lord. We spoke to Angus Brasher on the Sunday footy show yesterday. He says he's done four sessions, Harley Burnell, since he's been at Melbourne. He hasn't played since 2017. I... I'd be giving him three or four weeks yeah. actual match practice yes. because if he if they play him and he breaks down again, it could be career over. So I'd be making sure he's banging the selection door down before they take such a big risk.